Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. We're here to report on the Kirtland Basin restoration plan. And the trustees met on May 15th, and they have advised on four projects that they deem are credible to move ahead with. So, Dean, do you want to discuss the letter? Um, did, did you uh, folks, were you able to get any kind of a commentary sent in? On, on these what, projects? We met, it, it we met with you on, I think we were here on the yeah. I think you only had, like, the end of the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, nothing happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, well, we I mean, wondered, because yeah. we had communication from Kasha, Van Der Reed. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, anything to you, so I made sure that a copy was sent to Dee so you would be aware. But the four projects that they've moved ahead with are, um, um, it's number four, it's the Black Rock Slough, it's for 75000 And that's one of the ones that Dean and I agreed yeah. would be credible for these restoration dollars. And then the next one they had the was... Black Rock Slough. Slough, yeah. mm -hmm. Um, that was, it's in the first lane, flood lane, and I'm sure it got a lot of... Is that where the ranch is, you mean? Black uh, Rock Ranch? There must be an I'm not sure exactly. It's, it's going to be a... Yeah, it's got to be that yeah. part. Yeah, it says... Nothing at Black Rock. Resort is. No, there isn't. And it's right on the river. That'd be the... Uh, yeah, it says here in the description, the Black Rock Slough is hydrologically connected to dependent to and dependent on a significantly affected by the water levels of the Coeur d'Alene River and the downstream management of Coast Falls Dam on the Spokane River. These hydrological conditions facilitate facilitate transportation and deposition of mine waste contaminated sediments. So that's that's, one, that's one of the ones. Yeah. Okay. Another one was uh, number 17, and this was um, Canyon Marsh. This project would conserve drained agricultural lands within Canyon Marsh that could be converted to functional wetlands in the future. The project idea for Canyon Marsh consists of the potential protection of approximately 125 acres through a perpetual conservation easement. The Inland Northwest Land Conservancy will execute, monitor, ensure, and defend the conservation easement. The tract is owned by John and Nancy Cole. The property is surrounded by other agricultural lands that have similar uses. And what they want to do, the project will return injured resources toward baseline conditions by first conserving property that may be converted to productive, clean, feeding, wetland habitat for waterfowl and other wet, wetland-dependent life. Conservation easement will be used to protect the property in perpetuity. But one of the things I saw in this one, um, that one is three hundred fifty-five thousand. The first one was, I believe, yeah, seventy-five. This is three hundred fifty-five thousand. So we don't know if that's for purchasing the land, or it's already in an easement, or what they're what they're wanting to do here. But Dean and I didn't agree with that one. <laughs> okay, number twenty was the Jean Day Pond for 25000 And this is interesting, too, because this has already been remediated, but they're asking, asking for additional funding for parking, ADA parking spaces, gravel path to the pond, gravel ex uh, extension of Yellowstone Avenue, and a port and potty, uh, port potty port. So then the last one was in the 26th, and that was in the amount of $176,000. And that one is, um, this project will implement stream and riparian restoration on a key reach of Wolf Lodge Creek called Wolf Lodge 3. The work will be designed and implemented in concert with restoration by NRCS on an adjacent downstream property to create a combined length of 2,220 feet of improved habitat. So there again, you know, they talk about, you know, this is movement, you know, the mine contamination, or, you know, it's been injured because of that. Do, do, do they say that? It's been. 
it goes on here in the second paragraph to talk about this. Um, okay, the Wolf Lodge Creek drainage historically provided dozens of miles of spawning and rearing habitat for fluvial west slope cutthroat trout in the Portland Lake system. Cutthroat trout and other native species, quiet species, still inhabit Wolf Lodge Creek, and there is great potential for an increased abundance through restoration. Water quality, go ahead. How did how was Wolf Lodge Lodge Creek affected from the prime settlement? Yeah. 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 Did they yeah. did they address the mining injury and all of this um, existing contaminants and that? I, I'm not aware of any mining in Wolf Lodge Creek. No, no but they're what they're talking about in a lot of these is that you know the, the contamination. Blackwater. Yeah. Yeah. Blackwater first. It's within the basin, so be yes. the criteria probably. It may not be on the top tier, but it meets the criteria for location wise. Yeah. But basically, the trustees, Dean and I were talking, the fair playing field would be representation, you know, from all the counties, you know, when the trustees meet. So you had the input right then and there. Because at the end of the day, I kind of figured they're going to do what they want to do. So, um, yeah. I just noticed a lot of these things are listed. A lot of it, yeah. Right. Some do, right. but a lot of them don't. Good. I don't think that's where they're going. You know, we were oh, they got a slush one, they're going to raid it. Use it. That we yeah. were encouraged, and they have invited um, more of these to move ahead. And out of the next batch, they've advised for further application, I think, eight. Um, half of the ones that Dean and I have gone through, we felt were you know, worthy for the, um, for the project. But um, if you commissioners desire, you know, we will continue to you know, go to these meetings and, and hopefully be able to apply for funding for Benoit County too of this pot of 400 and some million. Yeah. Ideally, we'd be a little ahead of this curve so that we'd have information to you guys. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. can make your own assessment. Assessment. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, the only other thing I was going to report to you on was the Community Foundation. Um, the grants, the applications have been gone through and the grants have been um, given. The City of St. Mary's received $5,000 to keep the pool open and functional and provide necessary repairs and upgrades. The St. Mary's Fire Protection District received $2,000 to provide new technology to be used to educate the public on fire and life safety skills. The Upriver After School 21st Century Learning Center received 1,208 to teach students in the after school program, many of whom suffer food insecurity, and to prepare healthy food at home. Upriver Community United received 4,617 to facilitate food distribution to low income and fixed income residents of Upriver. And then I found out over the weekend too, um, the Panhandle Health here in St. Mary's um, they normally apply, but they had not. But they are now combined with the Snake River Community Clinic out of Nez Perce. Nez Perce applied, and Benoit County will be receiving, they received money, I don't know how much, but they did receive funding, so Benoit County will be given some of that funding. So that's all we have to report. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, what was that number for the pool? 5,000. On their public comment, uh, I'll talk a little bit about where we're at on the power. Uh, uh, I mean, we made direct contact, I did, because we couldn't, we had to have a meeting, and we was trying to get this something rolling on this, so I, I did a phone call, and Mariah was there. Very positive on re relocating the tower. They were not negative at all. Uh, we offered to assist them in any way we could to move the tower. And they're looking at spots. We got two county spots. I don't know if they'll fit or not. 
but uh, it's not a negative thing right now. And we assured them when we started, we're not against towers. And of course, they got more towers they want to put in. And they're going to come to us and talk to us and before they do any more towers. So we're all up agreeing and where they're at and what we're doing. And it was very positive. Whether that falls through or not, I don't think so. I don't think it will. So that's where we're at. Yeah, I just wanted to, to touch bases. I received a letter from Inland Cellular. Um, first off, they said, well, they notified us because they posted in the Pullman newspaper a year ago. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then we had 30 days to respond at that point once they posted But the they, they, were not, they were not going there with us. Yeah. We, um, we pretty well told them uh, we didn't want to hear the do's and the don'ts. Yeah. A lot of them wanted to change the tower. It, yeah, in their final paragraph, they did say that they were working with the county commissioners and actively discussing and investigating possible site alternatives. Okay. So we just wanted to yep. make sure that that was an accurate statement. That and was that very, would you, Mariah's sitting behind you there, so you can ask her. Okay. So. Okay. okay. So, um, you know, where does it go from here? We're going to, tomorrow, we'll get on the phone with them again. Okay. That just answers all my questions. I just wanted to hear where we were at with it and uh, appreciate you guys doing that and working towards relocating this. And, uh, we're going to get her done. She'll get, we'll get her done one way or the other. So, okay. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't spoke yet. I'm wondering why you are moving this tower out of Pokey Creek. Who I, says we're moving it out? Or want to put it in another location. Let me rephrase that. Why do you want to move the tower to another location? I'm under the assumption everything I've read about 4, 5G is because of the radiation that is comes out of this tower. I live less than 2,000 feet from the one in Amida. What do I do about that? If you're willing to move the one in Pokey Creek, what about the one in Amida that's right above the town? I just talked to Jim and Nancy. They're going to have to sell their 20 acres right next to Frank because they're worried about the radiation from that tower. So I'm wondering why that tower was put there with no letter to me, and I'm the one that owns all the property below it. No letter to us either, so you're, so, you're singing to the choir here. I understand that, but everyone here is all about Pokey Creek. What about us in Amida? Let's tear it down. Tear that one down. You know, yeah. Actually, um, we, when we came to the county initially, what we requested of the commissioners, along with helping us get this tower relocated, is to put a zoning law specific to towers and cell towers yeah. in place. Yeah. We need so that. We need that. sure that they don't put another one up right up Yeah, top we bought this 10 acres with yeah, plans got, to build uh, on it. You, you, got a, you got a situation here that that's not very good. Making issues now is an, and if if there's a if you can prove that tower and the Mida is a bad tower, then we have something to look at. Right. Uh, but it's there. These are not there. So I understand. Why put something that we think is going to be a problem? That's that's actually where we're at. And that and we were cold turkey on this one too. So I mean, really. So. But that doesn't do anything for me. I've already bought another piece of property because now I'm going to have to sell all my land to get away from the tower. I don't want to be the guy that comes in here and says, "Hey, Jack, I have cancer. Now let's do something." Or, or the whole entire town of Amida. Bob? You know what? I don't think it's going to bother me one bit. You, because you live a mile and a half away. I but I'm not, we're not sure that's, that's going to happen. I know. We can't and prove we, it. We that's the whole up, issue. You know, yeah. Why take the chance, but that's, we can't prove it? But we, 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 we got a chance to move something here that we, and we don't know. Uh, I know. These people told us, and, and they're very honest people. And so we're we're going to move this one, and anyone else that comes in, we'll look at them. That's uh, that's all we can say. I mean, we I know, and, I know. Um, and we don't want any hardship on you anymore than we do anybody else. You know. Mm. 
I just look at the mountain on the east south side. <laughs> Nothing's up there. No houses, no nothing. The problem is it's all about money. We all know that. There's no power up there. You have to have power to run one of these towers. So they're not going to pay to run power to the top of that mountain. And the other thing that's missing is a road. They would have to put a road to get that big old monster up there. It would affect no one. And I am all for a phone. I have one in my pocket. I'm for it. But I don't understand why I have to be the one that suffers. And the property value already, I talked to Jim, and he said it's looking like 20%. We're going to lose 20% of the value of that property. And, you know, he's got 20 acres sitting there. Well, I got over 50. I'm going to lose 20% of the profit off of my money, off of my land, because someone gave Frank 200 bucks a month to put the tower on his property. Frank, you know, he's on a breathing machine. He's not going to live much longer, so he don't really care. Well, I hope I get another five years at least. But what do I do? I have no, no, no avenue to do anything. You can't tear it down because that's against the law. I know I don't want to break the law, but I'm the one that now falls into the category of well, that tower is already there. It was put up in three days. I'm sure they've been taken down in five and move it to another location. Zoning, will the zoning mean grandfather all the old towers, like the one now that is in Amida that will fall under grandfathered in, and the new zoning, that if you guys add a new zoning to this, will that mean they won't move this one? Because it's already there. I understand everybody's, you know, in Pokey Creek, huh, they're going to be blessed. It's going to probably go to another location away from people that will suffer. That's what it's all about. It's all about people. Not big money, because you know, it's money there. Everyone needs a cell phone. We're out riding our quad, we're out riding our snowmobile. We want the cell phone for an emergency, and I understand that. And I'm for that. I'm for the tower. But not right next to a town. Come on. we got how many mountains around here? A whole lot of them. It's all about them spending their money to put power in a road to put it in the right spot than to say, hey, there's a road here and this guy, I'll just give 200 bucks and we'll put it right there above the town. No matter what happens. And now we have to wait until someone comes down with cancer. Hey, look at these two little faces right here. There's a lot of those in Amida too. I mean, Pastor Travis lives right down the street from me. And I'm worried about his but kids. You, but you're beating, you're beating. I know, I'm beating it, but I have his voice. It. My wife told me to come down here and <laughs> voice our opinion. And, and our opinion and is we don't appreciate that power being put there without even letting us know. I thought they were working on the water tank. Yeah. I hear clink, 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 and then three days later I look up and there's a tower sitting right there. I thought it was a 4G. Guess what? We can have a 4G tower right there, and it won't affect us at all. And it gets you more coverage. And it gets us more coverage. It is. It is on a five. It is a four. It's four. Well, I've been hearing through no, the grapevine. It's, it's five. It's 4G. It's they don't 4G. Have any, they don't have any 5G towers yet. Yet. It's four. Okay. Won't be either, so it's four. All right. So we can prevent it from being a five. There's no way. Can, can we put a into the zoning? I hate zoning. Can't, that's why I moved here. The more we get into this, the higher this thing is going to be to move the other one. If we start in on the Amida one right now, we're no, no. Let's go with the Pokey Creek because Amida is already there. I understand that. Well, it creates most important. Right it now. sounds like you have a good relationship with Weiss, but what if another company comes in and tries to put one up overnight? I actually, I mean, what's the problem? That'll happen. You don't. I don't, don't know. know. That I don't think it will. After okay. what happened in the papers, the yeah, company's going to walk. Hang on, I'm going to check with my guider counter. I went out and got one. And then we're going to monitor yeah. it because yeah. that's one where you can get them to yeah. move it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But you're right. Pokey Creek right now is the most important because it's not there yet. Mine's already there. But I don't want it to be grandfathered in. And if you say it's a 4G, I'm, I'm okay. But if they want to turn it into a 5G, that might. Well, that's information that we have at the moment. That we right. don't have any 5Gs or all 4s. Okay. That's what I was heard through the grapevine, too. I know that's what was out there, and we didn't know that until recently. How do we find out if it is a 5G with my Geiger counter when they turn it on? Because it will go off the, the, yeah. the, 
Richter scale. And I did go out and buy one, just in case. But I'm just worried about the town. A lot of old people live in that town. And I'm like, not counting me, but I did move over by you now. I'm going to move further away from the tower. I have no choice. I have no choice. Well, I guess we need to find out for sure for 4G or 5G, but from what information, recent information, we have for 4G. He's okay. in the lexicon. He tells you it's a four. It's a four. Okay. It's a four. He says it's a four. Although the statement from Nathan Weiss, who's building the tower and trying to build the tower on Pokey Creek, he said specifically that that was going to be a 5G no. tower. So how? Well, nobody has even has any 5G phones out yet. Not yet, but if I see them on the Facebook all the but time. But you got, got, got you got a situation here that we got to get through this. So let's get through this. Yeah. Let's get through this. And then we'll find out the next time we have communication with them whether it's 4G or 5G for sure. Well, to me, it makes no difference if it's 3, 4, 5. To me, it's dangerous. I don't want to live by it. I'm not comfortable with them owning the property. <coughs> you're not going to live by it. So let's, 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 you're getting into something there that we need to get through here. Uh, I think we need to... You need to give us time to work this out. Yeah. I'm good with that. I just, I think we just wanted to know kind of where we yeah, are in the process there. and hopefully find it some way, you know, how do we stay updated on where things are we're, going we're, with us. We're, you'll know that okay. we're, we're not laying in the grass here on this. Okay. I appreciate your hard work on this. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank, Thank you, Bob. I don't know you, so Bill. I live on the west side. Just I'm going to I'm going to Asphalt uh, VST pulverization to four inches depth. 
The sections will require more degree of assistance, uh, not included in the quote, to pull in outside edges and reposition thicker sections. Multiple passes may be required. $15,316 of mobilization is $2,070 for a total of $17,386. Here, you just bring it up in. Let's see. That does include like what or does not include. Seven, and what the discussion we had with Sid that wrote this quote was that the county would provide the greater in the vibrating roller yes, to will. assist. So that yeah. would, uh, how that and then we pay this 17? No, no. But no, that's for the whole whole project. Yeah, so we would, what Adam, the Bureau Chief for Development, has asked me to request is that if you guys pay for the cost of the road to be done and invoice us or us for the first seat, that is for the amount of money portion. We set a draft agreement with Bell with Ada County. I think, Bill, you got a copy of that draft yeah, yeah. agreement? Yeah. That we could model it after. We did the same thing with them. It's easier for you guys to do stuff than for the state to do yeah, stuff, if yeah. that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. If you have a copy of that draft agreement. I do, I do. I did actually do print that as well. There we go. Our share would be $6,686. Yeah. It's got Ada County on it and some other things and a map for... And 92 cents. Yeah. Now, did you get a quote for... Uh, Triple shot or anything? No, nothing. Okay. Out. That's as far as it's gone. It's just that. Okay, just to grind in the place. Because mm -hmm. he had mentioned spraying that before the chip seal with that product to firm it up potentially. Yeah. But then it was kind of like maybe it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Depending on what the material looks like once they grind it, he would give us a yeah. better idea of what it and he needs to make it work. Yeah. I think mean, the big thing today is seeing if you guys are willing to enter into an agreement with us and then we'll figure out from there what well, we're going to do and how we're going to yeah. do it and what's in the best interest of both of us. And then cost share. Yeah. Really uh, that'd be great to have it from start to finish. Yep. Start your camp down yeah. all, all, all the way up there. Yeah. yeah. And the one gray area was that parking area right before you go up the hill to the camping is yeah. if, if there was enough funds on our part to actually surface that as well. Yeah. Because there's either that or it would be a great yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. But while they're there, if there's a way to yeah. tag that onto it through the agreement and then still be able to do it, if we have the funds, then we would that, want to that, try that to do that. That was just gravel anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just gravel. Yeah, that's yeah. not yeah. Yeah. Right. there. Yeah. Right. The hill. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's all gravel from that point on. So, where are we at with the road going through the park, the other parts that need fixed? Um, to be honest with you, because of the overall cost of it, we get a little bit of money every year and the staff goes out and does what they can. Unfortunately, we as an agency don't get a very big chunk of change that we have to use stable highway. Yeah, it's hardly, when you look at how many miles of road we have, what we get off the gas tax is like this. But the yeah. state, uh, they're going to they're gonna have to do something with that unimpact. They need to fix that road of yours to the top of the hill so they can route that traffic through there. Oh, oh on the, going out the backside? On the under, yeah, on the underpass there. Uh, oh. They're going to, I mean, there's, they're going well, to see kill, they're going to kill somebody in right. there. The and, state has total responsibility for that road. We are totally out of that one. No, but I mean, through your part, they need to route highway, uh, Oh, to get it while they're redoing it to route it mm -hmm. to the park. And we found, as you all know, when the highway closed three years ago now, when yeah. it slipped, we started running traffic through there. And you can't. The road fell apart after about 10 vehicles, I think. Yeah. So no. it has nothing to it. So if they decide to do that and they want to route it through there, they're going to have to put some money into that road. We're, to make it we're going to really put the pressure on. Well, to fix that would benefit both of us. Because us. They, they, uh, and they're they're gonna block it there. Yeah. And uh, you know they originally was gonna run that from the curve, the top curve up there down through the middle of the flats and around, mm -hmm. and uh, it was delayed for the wrong reason. Uh, and so they won't just make it one way traffic and do half at a time. You think they'll have to close the whole thing? They'll have to close that underpass if they go if they widen that. It's so narrow. 
Yeah. Yeah, Ron has not mentioned that the state has talked to him about that at this point in time, so I will talk I'm not to talking him. to anybody right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk to Ron about talking to them. How does that sound? <laughs> So that we have a better idea of what's going on, because he's yeah. not mentioned anything yeah. to me about obviously them coming to him, so he may be totally out of the loop on that. So, uh, but yeah, the roads through the park, as you all know, and everyone knows, are in very, very sad shape. And I wish your, your responsibilities. Yeah, through the park is totally our responsibility. We're going to we're going to talk about that. Um, we're meeting with the, one of the board members tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to talk about it. Good. Who are you meeting with tomorrow? The new new member from. Just got on. Doug Eastwood? Yeah, just Doug. got on there. Oh. So, we've pursued money a time or two, but it's been hard to come by. Yeah. Okay. We'll put this on our agenda for next meeting to approve or disapprove. Okay. Uh, it was an action item today, so we. Okay. What is it? No, 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 it wasn't listed as an action item, so we can't take any action. Okay, that's fine. Do you want us here at the next meeting no. then, someone here, or is it even need to worry about it? Okay, I'm worried about it. All right. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Thank you. All right. We, Thank you. You can grind that Thank at any time, then come back later at yep. a later date, and uh, at least you'll have it so it looks like a decent road better. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just grinding it up, putting it back down will go a long way. So just yeah, the guy it that is going to do it is, is he on? Or schedule this here at all, or? He, it looked like if we weren't able to pull it off by the 17th of this month, then it'd be this fall. But he didn't say it would not be this, you know, he thought after August that it'd be yeah. open again. Oh, we get, get it approved by the 17th. Okay. Yeah, but, but we don't even, you know, as long as we're, I'll, I'll keep in contact with Sid and just let him know where we're at right now. Okay. And so potentially this fall it could be grounded. Yeah. In September, you know, the weather permits. Sounds good. Good. Thank, thank you, you, gentlemen. Yep, very much. Good. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you, young man. Good to see you. Good to see you. outside of basketball. Yes. <laughs> 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 we got on the project so we can, the sample contract so we can. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, it was actually 10, but we are uh, rearranging <laughs> just because we have an empty spot and Donna's on the phone. I can call. Okay, thank you. Bye. Nobody's available. <laughs> so nobody's available. Donna's on the financials for this month, but I'm still waiting for staff from the meeting. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Just give them their financial reports. It's a rough draft. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, bring her in, I guess. Yeah. Okay. How come that didn't get noticed by the concerns, I guess? I mean, how, did it just really pop up in three days and nobody had a clue? I think some of, somebody must have, but you can come on in for a minute. We'll... Everybody, I thought everybody around town knew what was going on. Need us out of here? Yeah. Okay. But it, you, you're right. That was a, you know, and this yeah. one was cold turkey on us, too. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, They're putting one up with the blue uh -huh. so I built a pad for that one. So I, I didn't think there was a problem with doing it, you know. But. Uh -huh. no. I understand the concerns. A lot of it, though, is about not understand what the real risks are and what's there. Obviously, it is going to have an impact for anybody that's right underneath it just by the perception. The, the health risks are much smaller for, now the 5G stuff, that's a little bit different because we had, yeah. don't have any understanding, we haven't used it. But the earlier stuff, there's really not a lot there that supports, although that's still questions of over time and humanity. So I understand their concerns, but it's going to be pretty limited impact, thankfully. The reality is it's not going to be a problem. I mean, we've got it in cities everywhere you go, you know, right in the same buildings that everybody lives and works in. But I appreciate all that. I wouldn't want to ride above my house either. <laughs> well, it, 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 what, what concerns us and it needs to concern us, you know, they come in here, part of them come in here today and was beaten up on some of the, on the Amida one. And uh, you start that, and you're gonna, we're gonna be struggling with the pokey crack one then, too. Yeah. So, yeah, where, yeah, where does that end? Do we take them all down in the county? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, so you, know, you, you better, you better, yeah. so. Then the last time we brought up zoning, uh, it was uh, nobody, they were a lot clear they wanted no zoning, period, the end. Dictating from above, nobody wants, and I agree. Don't want everybody coming in making the rules of what you're allowed to build or can't build yeah. on your property and that kind of. Now, some of this stuff, though, I, I guess I understand there's a preemption under the federal clause for the health risks for these cell towers is that you're not allowed to disallow it because of health risks. Well, that's stuff you, you have to deal with. Right. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah. well, I don't know about zoning and that. You just got to look at Kootenai County. Yeah. Right. 
or Lataw County. Right. And so common courtesy says make sure you have a good discussion. Talk to the you know the commissioners, the elected representative of the people. Talk to the people. Let them know and then yeah. is it something that they really want or not? For whatever benefits and whatever that's that's how you work with the people in a community. Don't just go in to piss them off. Right. <laughs> I didn't know till today that like Jeff there he was so upset about it being there, you know, that tower might have. Yeah. Pretty good friend with Jim and I ain't heard him say anything about it. Well, we got able. Thank you.